Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are looking at something very, very cool. This used to be called Unity Lite, like, a week ago. Now it is called Unity Studio. This is in beta, and I'm going to drop a little non-hyperbole, hyperbole, and then expectation setting all at once. This is the single coolest thing that Unity have created in years. It really is. So it is really that neat. On the other hand, it's probably not for you because this is a game development channel, and this technically isn't a game engine dot 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 yet. Hopefully, they realize the potential of what they've created here, and they do turn it in to a game engine eventually. So what you see in front of you, this is it. This is an example of it, and this is the market demographic. This is aimed at uh, designers and engineers and product managers, those kind of people who may not have the most technical ability. But what you're seeing here, this is kind of uh it's built on the unity back end but it's a new front end that makes unity so much easier to work with and that is why i think this is such a brilliant idea now to give you an idea of why i find this unity project so interesting i need to show you this what you see in front of you this is a microsoft make code arcade and this is my single most recommended starting point if you are trying to learn game development this is an all-in-one solution. It uses a scratch-like programming language, very accessible. Plus, it's got all the tools you need to get started in here. So, for example, if you need to uh, create level maps, you have level editing tools here as well. Literally everything you need to start creating 2D games is here. Now, the reason why I really like Make Code Arcade, and I highly recommend it, is right here, you are working with this visual programming language. You use blocks and bricks and such to make your game logic. And eventually, Eventually, you may want to move past this. And if you do, well, what you'll notice here is you have a JavaScript or a TypeScript path. And that is going to kind of link back to why I find Unity Studio so potentially exciting. All right, so back to Unity Studio. What you see here, this is a minimalist implementation of Unity. Uh, it's kind of its own editor. It's built on top of all the same Unity tech. And there's actually some really, really impressive things going on behind the scenes for asset management and asset implementation. By the way, there's also a number of libraries to work with. This kind of falls under the same category of why I kind of like make code arcade so much. You've got all of these pieces to work with here, all these different pieces of, uh, of assets and so on. Now you're gonna notice again, a very, uh, consistent theme here in terms of this is aimed at industry and engineer and so on. Uh, but this is a custom front end with an asset implementation. And this actually will bring in things like uh, USD files and CAD files in addition to all of the standard 3D files we're used to, like OBJ and FBX. And I think behind the scenes, they are all ultimately converted into GLB files. But this is a big part of the appeal here. So you've got this here, and then this is a straightforward level editor. So you wanna instantiate something into the scene, you literally drop it into the scene. You wanna move things around, you move things around. So you can really think of this. The original name was very apt. This is Unity Lite. On top of that, it is component driven. So you can see over here, you have physics. It's very simplified. So if you're coming at this from the perspective of a Unity developer, there is literally nothing here for you. This is made to be a stripped down and easier version of Unity for non-game developers, at least non-experienced game developers. But where this really shines, again, remember earlier on with that logic control? Well, here is the logic controller for the camera for this particular application. So there you see a very similar brick-like approach to game development. And I find this approach is one of the most uh, teachable ways out there. But again, one of the big reasons why I like to make code arcade is the migratory path. So once you got done or you learned everything you needed to know about using bricks and you wanted to move beyond that, you could. You could switch over to Python or to JavaScript or whatever. Well, with Unity Studio, you can do that as well. What you can notice over here, Unity 6, export to editor. What that does is it converts your logic bricks over into uh, I believe C sharp, uh, and then it will export it over to the editor. Now this isn't available yet. This is coming in the future. So right now with your creations, what you can do 
is basically come on down here and you can export it out. Uh, you'll save it out as a uh, URL that you can then publish out for people to use, or you can create eventually, again, we are in beta right now, but you could create an app version of it as well. But you could create a web version of this, you can make it passworded, and then you can share it with people. By the way, if you haven't figured that part out yet, this is also entirely web driven. Now on the back end, it is using URP, the universal render pipeline for all of the rendering. Uh, there's a lot of commonality. Hopefully you Eventually, we also get the ability to bring in all of our assets from the asset store. Again, beta early. We're waiting for things to happen. But you see over here, this is your typical scene graph where you compose things. You can add something into the world like a primitive or a UI element over here, or you can create an object. Or of course, you can build something from one of the assets um, and then bring in something. Or I can import something from the demo asset. So over here, uh, not that one, this one. And let's say I need a whatever this is. I'll just go ahead. I'll import that into my project. I could also send my own files up and work with them that way. Uh, and then once that is there, uh, it should be available right there. Yep. So there it is. And now let's close out of there. Instantiation of objects is literally, again, drag and drop, size, position, uh, you've got all your scaling tools down here. So it works a lot like traditional Unity. You're also going to notice over here, there are a number of different components available. These ones are custom written. So you can write your own. You've got a number that they've provided. But you also have uh, collisions, uh, colliders, and physics. And you're going to notice not much else. You've got a global tool for doing animations, which you'll see in an animation timeline down here if used. Uh, on top of that, you've got a UI layer that you can work with. You can see over here, again, you can add uh, components to that. So you can see up there, you've got components like buttons and text and so on. And that is it. So right now, you know, if you needed like bone animation, you're not going to get it. I don't even think you get audio at this point in time because this isn't really aimed at that. But I hope they do because this fills a niche that needs filling and has needed filling for years. And that is a easy to use, user accessible 3D game engine with a migratory path to something more complicated. And that's what you've got when this finally gets implemented and you can export it out to the editor. Now, I did say games aren't really created in this. It's not really for creating games. Well, you can create games. You're just going to have to set your scope appropriately. Again, this is early, and this is not technically aimed at game developers, but here is a simple game. This is the kind of thing that a beginner would start out creating. So you got, again, collision detection. Uh, you've got physics. You've got projectiles and so on. You don't really have much advance going on. You know, again, you don't have audio here. You don't have level transitions or changes. You've got basic menus, and that is about it. you got like the UI layer here. You've got uh, the physics and collision collection, and that's pretty much what you've got in this demo. But it is a basic game illustrated. And here is all of the stuff that goes together to create it. So here you can see typical, just like what you've got with game objects in Unity, you have a player object over here. The player has a camera attached to it. The camera has a gun attached to it. The gun has a gun receiver attached to it, a barrel, a grip, a grip, a sight, and so on. And then you're going to notice you have various different plugins attached. These plugins are your logic. You can do your logic. So this has a movement controller attached to it over here. Those movement controllers then expose a number of different properties that you can handle just like what you are dealing with in Unity, but light. Again, that's why I think the old Unity Lite name was much better. I would love to see Unity add a little bit more functionality to this and transition this as a gateway drug to people into the Unity ecosystem because, frankly, it is perfect for that, especially when they have this functionality in here. So again, you could just start with the basics. Then when you, you've grown beyond that, you need to add those things that aren't here. You export it over to Unity. You switch over to using C Sharp, and then you start using the game components that you need. A very cool and potent combination. Again, you can see their logic. So here are a number of different logic. Here is the movement controller that's exposing all of these properties out that can be set over here. So you can see how complicated these things can get. This is uh, the movement controller here. So it's pretty straightforward. So you're going to see over here, uh, when playing starts, set the initial velocity. So you've got variables and so on. These are all the variables that the user has defined over here. Uh, different kinds. So you've got like references to objects. You have simple, uh, straightforward uh, individual values and so on. And then you set the values accordingly. You also got the ability to create your own methods, by the way. So you have pretty much all of the normal programming logic here. 
We just need more bricks. We need bricks for like animate this, switch level, uh, play sound. Just add a handful more bricks, and this thing is going to be super careful, uh, super capable for a beginner to come in. Again, if you are an existing Unity developer, there's nothing here for you. This is not aimed at you. But if you're thinking to learn Unity and you want that nice migration path, this is wonderful. And then one of the things maybe down the road, since it is an online product, you well for one, you can use it in a library or on a Chromebook or less capable machines, but you could also potentially add some kind of a collaborative effect. So you could come in and you could teach someone else game development by logging in with them and sharing the experience. That's not there now, that's not even in the roadmap, but it's the kind of potential of what they could do with this. So here you can see apply movement force. And, and again, if it fits in, if it's color coded and it fits into the slot, it works. And then you've got here, this, this will execute, this will execute, it's top down. And again here, this is for the camera rotation. So look vector, you're setting the look vector. Uh, and those are the details over there. Rotate uh, the player camera object and then rotate the player. That's it. it gets, it's super straightforward and simple. Here you can see handling of movement. So handle movement and you wait. And then here, you set the movement vector. If the key is W, you move them forward along the Z axis. If, the, if it's uh, Z, you move them minus along it. Uh, it. Sorry, if it's S, D, and so on. Super straightforward logic. Again, this is the kind of stuff that is absolutely perfect for beginners, especially when you add in the fact that the importer works incredibly well. So when they do get this functionality in place and you can export this over to the editor, I think it would be a crying shame if they keep this just for the way it's targeted right now. So speaking of which, this video was about a lot of what could be. And I do, I see a hell of a lot of potential in this program. Again, there are not that many beginner friendly 3D game engines out there. And one of the best ones was BuildBox and wow, did they ruin their themselves. So this could be a great way for Unity to attract people to their product, uh, to get kids hooked young, which is a very mercenary way of saying it. But hey, that's, that's important for software acquisition. Get people to use your product. Well, make a very accessible version of your product and have it so that you can actually then migrate over to the full product and bring your experiences with you. They have 90% of that here, in my humble opinion. So again, the idea behind it, this is available in beta right now, quick and easy creation of interactive 3D applications. Um, it used to be called Unity Lite, it's now called Unity Studio. It's an intuitive web-based editor, powers anyone to build and share in 3D, no coding or complex workflows. So you can see, bring 3D ideas to life, uh, interactive 3D without the complexity, uh, and then it's got uh, build 3D training apps fast, uh, interactivity without code, uh, deliver personalized experiences, prototype uh, HMIs faster. Again, you can import in a variety of different CAD formats here as well, by the way. Uh, and then animation is built in via the animate director. It, it's simple keyframes, translation animations that you see right now. So there's no bone animations or anything in like, like that. That is again for the full fat version. But when the export comes out, it will be interesting to see how these animations are ultimately brought over to the Unity game engine. But you can see where they're aiming. Their demographic for this is like non-technical, non-game makers, more like uh, again, engineers, product people doing product demonstrations, that kind of stuff. But I think where this could really shine is as a gateway drug to bring people into the world of game development. And I think the, the world of 3D tools is missing this. There is not a super easy to use 3D game engine with this much polish out there. And this, this could be uh, just a great step forward. So if you want to go ahead and try it, it is available for free. It is a beta. Uh, so if you want to sign up for it, uh, you basically, you join the beta over there. Um, the cost, how much does this cost? Right now, it is free for all users. When it is available, generally, the pricing is going to be made available then. There's a possibility that it will be free. There's a possibility it will be attached to some kind of like a enterprise subscriptions. Who knows? Who knows how they're going to bill for this? But it would be very cool if they do an education version of this and make it free and add a little bit more of that game dev stuff. Again, I have uh, a game dev channel, so I'm going to focus on the game dev aspects of it. So you see here, this supports a number of CAD files. And those things are actually you normally can't import quite easily. This is a big thing behind the scenes with Unity Studio. It's just I don't care about it because it's not part of, you know, 
my target audience. So that is it. The technical requirements, basically desktop version of Chrome. I never tried this on mobile. I have run it on Edge, by the way, which works fine. So I think they mean to say Chromium, not necessarily Google Chrome specifically, but others work, but they test on Chrome. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So right now, uh, projects created in Unity Studio cannot be imported or exported uh, to the Unity Editor during beta. Export from Unity Studio to the Unity Editor is planned for a future release next year. Now you notice there's nothing about importing from Unity into Unity uh, Studio, and quite frankly, that would be an incredibly difficult thing to implement. So I can I can understand why that may not happen, well, frankly, ever. So. Uh, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This, in all honesty, I, and I'm not being hyperbolic here, I think this is the coolest thing that Unity have done in a very, very long time. And do you see the potential behind this? Do you think that they should make a game developer-focused version of this? And are you going to play with it? Let me know in the comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.